How's it going guys? So today we are going over the Unreal Engine 4 patch notes. This is very exciting. Unreal Engine 4 is finally going to be here. Uh, it's been a very long time coming. I'm really excited to check out the game, the new engine. I think it's going to be great for the game. Faster loading times, better optimization. Uh, it does seem to be perfect. There still might be some drops here and there, but um, definitely just a way better experience than we have now. So it's great to see that. Let's talk about what we're going to be getting. There's a lot of great detail here. Of course, we're getting Unreal Engine 4. As I said, we're getting the Dual Blade Master class. Which is going to be available for Jin and Yun, so it's only for those two races. No Lin this time, but down the line, I think they'll make it available for Lin probably like five or six months from now, just saying. Um, they're also going to be increasing the character slots, which is fine because it's a brand new class coming out. They're also introducing a brand new four-player dungeon. Now they're bringing back the four-player mode again, which I think is great. I think the game was at its peak when we had the four uh, player dungeon modes i think it was really difficult and it was great having a coordination with a small knit group of players so i'm glad they're bringing that back uh, another big thing that you guys will notice is that the difficulty modes are going to be expanded to easy normal and hard these are three different game modes and the easy one is apparently going to be soluble for a majority of the dungeons you're running in easy mode of course the rewards are going to be not as good as normal and hard but you can just do it solo if you don't have any friends or you just want to run content by yourself this is exactly how it is in Korea, so it's great to see that we're catching up to the same type of stuff they have. So, the main topic of these patch notes is called ARMS event. I've been seeing a lot of miscommunication, a lot of people saying different things to me. In the live stream, I covered that they're going to be giving Silver Steel accessories. This was something that I think Jaime or Jaime, however you say her name, she said in the live stream that we're going to be getting those. And I had a lot of people saying, no, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's just going to be giving us the Celestial Emperor accessories like last time from the called ARMS event. But uh, actually, we see it right here in the patch notes. Now, again, these could be wrong. They've been wrong in the past, but I'm going to assume if she's saying it and it's in the patch notes, if they still get it wrong at that point, I don't know what to say. But <laughs> in these patch notes, they state that we will be getting the Silver Seal Ring and the Silver Steel Earring. So we will be getting those. We'll also get the Celestial Emperor Earring and Ring Stage 10, but you also later on, when you open up probably the later chest, you will get the Silver Steel Ring and Earring. So this is great to see. I believe they're going to be stage one though, which is a little worrisome because you're gonna need a lot of mech hearts to actually upgrade them, which you're gonna have to basically just find a raid to be able to do it. Uh, but either way, getting free accessories in there. Of course, the Thornbreaker stage nine is a new uh, free weapon they're giving. Awaken Tiger Soul, at least Ultimate Pet Aura, True Wave and Talisman, bunch of great stuff here. Also giving gems. I wish they were Han Moon gems. Honestly, I really hate that they have Han Moon and non Han Moon gems, and the non Han Moon gems you can't trade them between characters and you can't upgrade them i think it's just a stupid pay to win wall where they really should just make it every gem han moon every gem tradable and upgradable that just makes total sense to me but of course i have no power in changing that uh, so yeah just see the whole list here is a lot of great stuff i cannot tell you guys enough if you're a new player or return to the game you have to do this event if you don't you are going to be behind by so much it's insane some of this gear is better than gear that i have and again i'm not a hardcore player i play a couple days a week but you're gonna have better gear than me. Like, I mean, this is awesome to see. So a lot of really great stuff here. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna read every single thing you get, but you get the gist of it that you're getting really great stuff. It, this event, best event of the year, you have to do it. Even if you're not a new player or a returning player, just do it on like, if you wanna level up the new class, do it on the new class and get geared up on the new class. Like, why not? It's just giving you free gear. So even if you're not like a returning player or a new player, this event is still really good to do. Uh, besides that, they talk about the armory chest and how you can lock them with the keys one thing to mention if you guys for some reason don't have any time to do the event you can buy the keys at the end of the event near the very end they'll put some bundles in the cash shop and you can buy the keys to unlock the chest uh for of course in real life money keep in mind it's like over like 30 40 dollars so it's quite pricey but you know if you don't have any time like you're away and you're like damn i want time to do this event but i want to gear up my character it's still worth buying the bundle in the cash shop um if you want to really gear up quickly through this event and if you guys have been watching my content you know i really don't encourage people spending money on the game on most of the stuff is pretty trap and kind of a waste of money especially those rng boxes but for this time around if you really want to spend money on the game and you don't have time to do the event or even finish it definitely buying the keys in the last couple of weeks of the event is worth it in my opinion another thing i want to mention is these really cool little challenges they have where it's pretty easy content to do and get free vouchers so if you complete four daily challenges four days in a row during the event, they'll give you one additional slot voucher for free. Great to see there if you need to make another character. But really the one I'm a big fan of is if you acquire Armory Chest Stage 7 from the Call to Arms event, which you should be already because you should be doing the event, as I've stressed a lot, uh, you get a free character appearance change voucher. 
This is something that's really great because as I've said with Unreal Engine 4, they're going to be changing the look of your character. It's not drastic, you're not going to look totally different, but your character will look a little bit different. That is guaranteed with this new engine. It's been shown time and time again. The lighting will look different. Your character's face will look a little bit different. So for some people, you might not like how you look anymore. So I was saying they should give everyone a free character appearance change voucher. It's just common sense. Now, I was mad at first because they're only giving this for in the master pack founder pads where you had to spend money to get the character voucher but it looks like now you can do the event and get it for free so this is really great to see i feel like nc west really pushed to have this because i highly doubt that nc soft korean devs really wanted to do this for us i feel like this is probably jaime or jaime whatever and the nc west devs helping us out here and getting this for us in the game so i could be wrong there but i feel like it was really them pushing for that so i really appreciate them doing this because this should be given for free uh, I feel like they should just give it to everyone, but you know, you do the event, you get it for free. I think that's perfectly fine. Don't have to spend money. Definitely, I'm a fan of that. So, besides that, again, we get a brand new four-player dungeon. Uh, Going to be very difficult in-game content, of course. Giving new accessories with that. And uh, besides that, that's really the main stuff. There are some few little other changes, and again, I'll leave a link below if you want to read through every single one of them. But the main gist of it is we're getting the new engine, which is going to take like over 12 hours. So keep in mind, like the first day, it's probably not going to be playable. I think for the EU players, it's not playable at all. So like this is to be really expected, though, like you got to imagine it's a brand new engine. It's not going to be <laughs> it's not going to be implemented quickly. We've had maintenances last over eight hours for just a simple update. So you can imagine the Unreal Engine 4 engine new change is going to take a long time. It might even be a full 24 hours, honestly, maybe even a little bit longer. Who knows? What I do know is expect it to be pretty hectic. Expect the first day or two probably not to be playable. I'd be very, very surprised if you can log in on September 9th and play through Unreal Engine 4 with no issues. I think there will be a few issues, so keep that in mind. Honestly, I really feel like they should maybe make the Call of Arms event as for like three or four days just because of how long the maintenance is going to be and how many issues there probably will be with them uploading a new engine to the game. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. I hope NC West will maybe think of that and be courteous because we should give players a full event, full time to actually get all their gear because this event is that good. But uh, that's really the main stuff. The new engine, dual leader, new class. If you want to check that out, I have videos on that on my channel. Uh, looks pretty fun. I'll definitely just be sticking with my Blade Dancer though. I'm already so involved with that class. I have five plus years on it. Uh, brand new four player dungeon, Call of Arms event, best event of the year, and just some few other great quality of life changes. I will say, I really wish though that they would make more stuff bound to account. We still have Blood Roses and Starlit Bloom, which are from raids like three plus years ago that are not bound to account, which I think is crazy. Um, I really hope NC West will actually look at all the stuff. Like Elder Scale Fragments, all that should be bound to account. Like, why would they not be bound to account? It just makes your life easier. I don't know why they don't do these quality of life changes, but hopefully with you know a lot of more attention on the game and people coming back to it. They'll maybe take a such a chance at the game and look at it and say, hey, maybe we should make some more quality of life changes. So hopefully they do that. A few other great changes would be like a shared bank between your characters where you could throw gems in like a shared bank and then you'd be able to just pick them up on your other character instead of having to mail them to your other characters and have a mailing fee for your own items. Just really dumb. Uh, again, I could go on another 20 minute video on all these changes that we need, but uh, hopefully we will start to see some more quality of life stuff with all these big updates. But uh, thank you guys for sticking with me all this time. I know it's been kind of hectic as, you know, NC Soft has really butchered the game, but I still love the game and hopefully with this new engine, we'll see some new life brought into it. Um, I'll see you guys in the game though, September 8th, maybe September 9th though, because the maintenance, but uh, hopefully sometime soon. And I uh, appreciate you guys a lot watching the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Leave a like, sub to the channel. I'm out.